Ridley, America's automatic motorcycle. Off. All these bolts, uh, they don't have to stay with it. They do come out, uh, but that, that's our piece. You do have three washers located underneath here. That's another one of the safety mechanisms built into the lock washer system. And so then that exposes our C-clip uh, that we'll need to use these, uh, these pliers to get out. Those in the hole and the C-clip pops right out. So we've got our C-clip out. Once the C-clip is removed now, the ramp plate moves. And you can see in here, this is a fairly worn uh, ramp plate, and you can see these divots inside here uh, that, the, uh, that the cam rollers have caused. So the cam rollers start here in this position at uh, 650 RPM, and when it's at top speed, at, at full speed, uh, that those rollers are rolling right up here. So uh, this is something that we want to get away from, and that's the purpose of this service. So one thing that you can do if these aren't too deep is go back through here with a grinder, uh, grind these things out, uh, create a smooth surface again. One warning, though, is if you do uh, sand these down too much or grind these down too much, you can uh, damage the wall thickness here, which is definitely a safety issue. So replacing these for what they cost is, is really the recommended service. So we're not going to reuse that. That exposes our removable face and all of our cams. Now, what we're going to look for here is these rollers rolling. So what we want to do is put a, our standard screwdriver into... Uh, the cavity here between this outer piece which doesn't roll and this inner piece. So this inner roller should roll somewhat freely, that's what we're looking for. If it doesn't, that's a problem for us. So we're checking for these to roll and we do it to all three of them. And they all roll fairly well. So they're all rolling. So we know we've got a pretty good movable face still here. We can check uh, how well these spring uh, back and forth and they spring pretty well. Uh, we're looking at uh, the way these pins look, if anything's out of place there. It looks like everything's moving uh, fairly well, fairly freely. So all these pins look good and the springs look good also. So now to inspect the spider. The spider, again, is this piece right here. It's got these three pins on it. We're inspecting those. We're looking for any kind of a fracture in the metal. Uh, sometimes these will break. Um, and it, they're hard to tell. They might have a fracture in them, and occasionally um, you're going to need to replace uh, the spider if that happens. Um, most people replace the entire unit if that is the case. So, But everything in this one looks pretty good. Everything looks like it's in place. It's it's pretty dirty. It's got a lot of that belt, uh, the, the, the particles from the belt, the, the dust from the belt inside here. So blowing this out is what we'd want to do uh, and use a little... So once we've got everything cleaned up, we want to go ahead and lubricate. Using the special lubricant, we want to lubricate these rollers. So the way to do that, the best way, is to lubricate right on the side of the roller. I'm going to get a little closer up here. So we're on the side of the roller, lubricating inside there. The lubricant sprays out a green color, and that's to help show you where it's, it's lubricating. And once you've got it lubed, you can spin it and make sure that everything is spinning right. So go through here and lube up all three of these rollers. And now we'll check all of them to make sure that they're rolling well. Rolling pretty good. Something's rolling well. And that one's good to go too. If these rollers aren't rolling, it's because of the spacing here on this cam arm. So what you need to try to do is spread this out just a little bit uh, to give it some distance in between there so that it's not locking it up. If you get into that situation and you've tried to space it and it's not spacing, uh, then it's time to replace the movable face. And once we've lubricated that, now we need to put this transmission into high gear so that we can get in and expose the spider arms uh, and the main shaft uh, center. So the way to do that to put your hands here on the bottom on the base and on the top part of the movable face, just the edges of your palms, and push down and put it into high gear. That exposes everything underneath here, puts these cam arms uh, out a little bit for us. And what we're going to do is spray some this dry film spray lubricant on each arm.
and on the main shaft in there. And once we've got that done, now, now we can put it back into its normal resting position. So to do that, we put our thumbs here on this main shaft and pull up with our, with our fingers uh, so that it goes back into neutral. And that's that. So other areas of uh, needing to be lubricated are in these arms here on both sides of them. Might as well throw a little lubricant on these uh, springs just to kind of keep the, keep everything looking nice and moving freely. And so we'll spray a little lubricant on the inside of each of these, kind of hook these springs up. We'll do the same for all three sides. So now that we've got that done, the lubrication portion of this is complete. Kind of work this thing in and out a few times. Make sure that everything's good. Now, before we start putting this thing back together, we want to clean off the inside surfaces where the belt is. To do that, we use a little bit of carburetor cleaner uh, on a rag. Uh, spray some of that on there. And make sure that you get the inside surface of this nice and clean. We don't want the belt touching any kind of a, a slick surface. So we're going to clean the inside off there. Make sure that the rest of this looks good. There's no, no excess residue on, on there uh, of the lubricant. Okay, to build this back up, we're going to use some of our new parts and some of our old parts. Uh, which mean that first we're going to put this uh, this brand new ramp plate on here. Ramp plate goes in these three holes. Then we put our C clip on. It's an important next step. Uh, if you try to do this uh, C clip later, you'll find that the lock washer gets in the way, and you'll be taking some parts apart. Um, no harm, no foul. Just something to deal with. Now, right, now that we've got the C-clip on there, it's all held, being held down by that. Now, it's time to put on our lock washer, but first we need to put on these spacer washers. We've reused these washers. Now we're putting our brand new lock washer back on, and our three bolts. All right, now snug these down. You got your 3 8 wrench. And get each one of them kind of somewhat tight. 